Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. I hope you are doing well. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to us. And if you like this video, Hulk smash that like button. And don't forget to hit the bell to keep up to date to all the latest videos. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's move on. DCU, the James Gunn DCU is beginning to take shape with the casting announcements of Creature Commando, something that I I don't know if I was so super excited about when I first heard it, but now I'm starting to get really super excited about it. Now it's coming with some directing news. This is when the movies really start to take shape now. Directing news, we got the Authority Director and the Batman Brave and the Bull Director. This is coming from DCUU links, leaks on Reddit. The Authority is said to possibly be directed by Matthew Vaughn from The Kingsman, from X-Men First Class, a very talented director, somebody who uh, wanted to direct the Man of Steel movie, uh, Henry Cavill's Superman, and very critical of Zack Snyder's approach to the Man of Steel, saying that he didn't believe that Batman and Superman could should coexist, which is intriguing if you're going to get a director like that to work in a universe where clearly these characters are going to coexist. But he's rumored to direct the Authority. On the flip side of things, you've got Batman Brave and the Bold, something that I'm very much looking forward to. I love Batman. I love the Batman. I've loved every Batman movie. I don't care. Batman and Robin, suck it. I like them all. But this one is said to be directed by none other than Andy Muschietti from The Flash, coming hot off The Flash, which James Gunn has said is the best super movie hero he has seen. We've, we keep hearing reports that the movie is phenomenal, that everybody loves this movie. You got your Ezra, Ezra Miller situation aside, it looks like this movie is going to be a blast, a treat. And I think if this is true and it works out, then maybe we could take James Gunn on his word that it is a great movie. And Andy Muschietti deserves to tackle another superhero movie because it doesn't look like that iteration of The Flash is going to exist much longer. Obviously with the Ezra Miller stuff and just the reboot in general. So it, it's curious to see, but if it is a great movie, he deserves that chance. And what better movie to get? What what better a promotion than going from The Flash to Batman? I mean, Batman's in the movie, but to do this big Batman movie when you know that the Superman legacy and the Batman Brave and the Bold are going to be your two biggest tentpole films of the new DC you So I I loved the first It movie. I thought it was tremendous. Um, Mama was also a great film. So I'm really excited to see what he brings to the table with Batman Brave and the Bold. It's going to be, uh, I think the Matt Reeves one, it's going to, this is going to be a lighter take on it, but still a lot darker than, say, Superman Legacy. So I'm very excited to see what he brings to the table. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for these rumored directing candidates? Or are you still upset that it's not the Zack Snyder verse? I'm, let's go, man. Let's give me these movies. 2025, here we come. Thanks, everybody. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.